Hello, this is Darkstalkers 3 on PS1. Uh, I'm playing it on a PS2. I'm in the options mode. These are the default options. I'm not using a memory card. Uh, you can see the difficulty is only on 2 of 8. Uh, I guess I'll just leave it there because, you know, why not? Um, that's my excuse for being a wimp. Uh, let's set now the... the Button config in this game is really sweet. You just push the button you want, and it goes to the next one. Then you push the next button you want. Uh, so for light punch, you know, I just hit the buttons. Why can't every game be that simple? It's great. Uh, okay, so I'm going to play through arcade mode with Donovan, who is a like a vampire hunter or something. Um, I want to see the colors you can get for him. There's eight colors per character, one for each, selecting them with each punch and kick button. That's There's three punches and three kicks. And one for hitting all three punch buttons, one for hitting all three kick buttons. So uh, let's just do the punches. I'm going to do light punch. <clears throat> one nice thing this game does is... Uh, I'm going to do medium punch, is it the, the buttons you hit to select are the actual buttons you just remapped in options. They're not whatever the original non-remap buttons are, which uh, Capcom would never get right again, basically. In the PS2 era especially, they, they just couldn't get that through their heads. So we already saw that. Oh, I was going to, last time I kept saying I was going to check and see if I could back out, but I don't think there was a way to back out because you can see the colors on the select screen once you hit the button. So we got a red, we got a blue. He's got Anita, so why doesn't my Donovan have Anita? Anita is actually a playable secret character in uh, one of the Versus series games. Which one? It's like... Marvel's it's like the second or third one it's the one with the gems whichever one that is Marvel superheroes vs Street Fighter uh, it's not, I don't know one of those um, okay so red and blue isn't that exciting that was light punch and medium punch So let's try heavy punch. Oh, green. Now, can I back out if I hit select or start? No. Uh, circle? No. So this heavy punch is going to be light kick. Ooh, purple, now we're getting somewhere. Actually, the green ain't bad either. So green was heavy punch, purple is light kick. There's also a funky EX move that I found on his move list on event <laughs> eventhubs.com that I want to test out. So those are those are pretty snazzy. I actually kind of like the green more, maybe. Oops. Oh no, that's it. Okay, just just uh. Just a couple more trips here. Gonna do medium kick. It's a lighter purple. And heavy kick. Oh, there we mixed it up a little bit. Went with a lighter color. That's kind of sharp. What do we think of this? I did not activate quick load on the PS2. So this is normal. Yeah, darker skin and lighter costume. That's pretty snazzy. I like that. I could do that. That's heavy kick on the on the right there. Two more though. Last two. There's uh all three punches and all three kicks. So all three punches. Oh, that's kind of a slightly grayish light blue. And all 
three kicks. Whoa. Oh man, we got some dark crimson, some blood red vampire hunter colors. Is it, was there an orange as well? It's actually a little, a little hard to see. He does get glowing red eyes though. Oh, and a red sword. Okay, well, he's got a red sword. I gotta go with that one, I'm sorry. And he's got the dark skin, so yeah, there's no, there's no choice here, um, because you know I'm a simple person like that. Uh, oh, oh, I didn't want to try that move. So, bring up the move list because I can't remember. It's one of these. A lot of the Darkstalkers characters have these moves where you do these EX moves, where you do, you hit two buttons, and then you hit a direction, and then you hit two other buttons and then it doesn't move. So this one is medium punch, light punch, then back on the directional pad, then light kick, medium kick. So medium punch, wait a second, medium punch, light, yeah. These aren't even, medium punch, light punch, back. Oh, I see, it kind of goes in a square if you have it. That was it. Well, I don't like the flashing, so I'm... So that does, what, 35 damage? Is that good? Is 35 good? I mean, I guess. Doesn't seem quite worth, worth the crazy effort. So it's basically just describes a square that goes from the upper right corner of this a square if you have if you have your buttons laid out like in the arcade with two rows of three you start in the top middle with medium punch then light punch then back then that's to the left and then down to light kick and then right to medium kick so why is it uh, maybe I've got it wrong now that Like punch, just not. It's difficult to go from medium punch to light punch. Doing this, oh well. So you just don't wait for the the attacks to come out. You just enter the code fast. So it's not that tough to remember once you or to do once you got it down on your fingers. I don't know. You can also with kick buttons. I think he can do that with his sword, and then he can recall it with the same button. Oh, so I plant it on the ground and then I command it to attack. So in theory, I could plant it to... Uh, oh, I throw. I could plant it on one side of him. And then... Oh, that took a while. So you could cross him up with it, basically. So that's quarter circle back kick button. I mean, that's cool. Oh, and he's got, that's down medium kick. That's light and heavy. That's like different trajectories. Uh, he had uppercut motions. Oh my gosh. That's the EX version. See why? Wait, that does. That does 38 damage, whereas this whole. 
here. Wait, am I, I can't. How does this damage meter work? Okay, hold on. Okay, so that does 15. This does 35. Well, that is more, so whatever. Um, that's back, but he can keep, he can keep mashing it or something. Yeah, you can keep mashing it, mashing the whole move. Thing. No, you just mash the button. Oh, maybe. Ah, uh, come on. Hmm. Oh, mash, mash the whole move, yeah. It's the EX version. Whoa, you can get a lot of damage going that way. That's interesting. Oh, shoot, you can mash that as well. Wait a second. Oh, that one, you just mash the buttons. Oh, no, that's an automatic hit. Well, what am I doing? Oh, whoa. Okay, so... And I EX with medium and heavy. Oh no, there it goes. Jeez. Just check the move list to see if there's any other cool stuff. Oh, he's got a command throw, it looks like. Um, he's got a half circle forward EX move. Half circle forward kick. Oh, geez, that did a ton of damage. Why wouldn't I just do this with my power bars? I mean, that's ridiculous. And you hit different buttons for different ranges. Oh man, well, that is ridiculous. That's a half circle forward kick button. Okay. Just a single kick button. Uh, yeah, command grab is a half circle back punch with medium or heavy punch. That didn't even... What? Is that hurting? That's not hurting him. It's just electrocuting my sword. Do I have to... That's weird. So if I do this... Half circle back punch without with my sword planted in the ground, it shoots lightning into my sword. But does not do the command throw. Huh. Well, I wonder what shooting the lightning into the sword can do. Oh man. Donovan, why you gotta be complicated? What else do we got here? Lightning, flame sword, those are the uppercuts. Blizzard sword, half circle forward. Oh, so you just got a slow fireball. Oh, jeez. Is there anything that Donovan cannot do? Uh, probably not. Uppercut back kick. Oh, that. Wait. Wait, that actually just teleported the sword over there. Now it's mad at me. So I can... I can do a quarter circle back kick to plant it... Uh, no, it wants to go over there now. Well, I'm confused. Um... Don't understand. 
understand. Well, I guess that's okay. Oh, I, I think I was just looking at the wrong move. I don't know. There's a back... No, there's a quarter circle back punch. That's the last thing, I think. Well, down... That's a pretty spiffy uppercut. Ah, there we go. That's quarter circle back punch. Which I'm having trouble executing for some reason. What the... Oh, no, that's, that's the lightning thing. That's... Uppercut back punch. So is that? Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know why I can't get this one. Well, I'm not going to remember half of these. That's fine. That big one was, uh, what was it? Half circle, half circle back kick. Yeah. Okay. Let's go hunt some vampires. So now Dimitri here is a vampire. I don't really like playing him though. He's just kind of a uh, he's just kind of a Shoto with teleports. I don't know. I mean, he's got good moves. I just don't just not into the whole thing. So uh, let's do the three kick color. Oh yeah. I think in the Dark Forces, he also had a he had a special move to use in Dark Forces, which was oh Upper, uppercut two kicks. I didn't check that. I tend not to use Dark Forces a whole lot. I love the red sword. Oh man, I'm gonna be accidentally planting my sword a lot because I'm a scrub. No, oh, I'm surfing on my sword. Oh dang it! I didn't even try to do that. It just came out. I was thinking about doing it, and then it just did it on its own. Dang it! Oh, half circle back. God. Half circle forward? Oh, half circle forward, sorry. Oh man. That move is ridiculous. You do have to pick the right range by hitting the correct kick button, but look at those plants fighting over that insect. I never noticed that before. Anita doesn't look very happy. I wonder if when you have a mirror match like I did in training, if only one Anita can show up at a time, so... Oh, or if she just hides out by player two? That's interesting. Hey! Jeez, that covers a lot of the screen. You can also kind of keep them frozen for a while. You too many, too many moves to think about. Well. <laughs> oh. I'm not a big fan of all the flashing that happens when he does these moves. 
Oh, she dodged it? What? Stop, stop doing your Swiss Army stuff. Circle back. What? I, I don't know. Dang it. Ooh. Oh no. Well, that's not fair. I protest. Well, that wasn't great. So, uh, it's too many. I, I also. I can't really handle. Oh, that's a cool drawing. I can't really handle Senko's. I like the coloring of her face there. You do at least have an instant continue. Uh, I don't. I don't handle Senko's crazy move selection very well. I can't tell what the heck is going to come out at me. And right now, I'm still trying to sort of assimilate Donovan's rather opulent move set as well. I should just do jump kicks. I like jump kicks. They're simple usually. Ooh, oh, you can't get in on that. What am I thinking? What? Oh, she was right inside that. So low kicks are kind of screwing her up. Where is my ding dong sword? How do I call it? Sword back. There we go. Get her sword. Oh, that little jump thing is cool. So yeah, just uh, just kind of kick moves or sh shredding her more than any of my big old power moves that I can't seem to aim all of a sudden. Is Donovan... So I don't remember what Anita's story is. If she's just a regular little girl, I'm not sure she should be hanging out with Donovan because he seems like a bit of a violent weirdo, but she's probably got some special case. I mean, she is some kind of crazy, powerful character in that Marvel versus game, so I guess she's not a, she's not a normal kid. I answered my own question. I love how she's just sort of hanging out by the other character. Is there some way Donovan can actually activate some move or something from her? It's so creepy. She's just maybe she's just there to to uh, unnerve the opponent. You know, who's just why is this weird girl hanging out next to me? Giro, uh, Giro. I can't aim that anymore. Well, there we go. Flattened. Oh, shoot. She got me. I'm trying to do a stupid move. Just kick her in the ankles. I love those fireworks. That's actually really good. This game looks so good. I, I love how they redrew it pixel for pixel into square pixels for the PS1 version from the from the uh, arcade board, which had different shaped pixels. It looks so good on PS1. What was that weird casket next to me? I'm just riding his sword a lot. Oh, shoot. Ew. 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 
tried to do his fancy move. It's not working. I can't do it under pressure. No, I'm rushing it. Oh, yeah, he just got a fireball. Oh, it's so slow. Oh, that's bad. Oh, she went right through that. Oh, I forgot you have to mash the motion as well. Oh, she's going right through it again. I'm dead. Well, that's, that's what I get when I try to do his fancy uh, stuff. I can't handle it. Maybe I just did it so I could see Felicia in her pose there. She just went right through that, too. What the heck? I'm not sure where the hitbox on this is. It's apparently not all the way to the floor like it looks like it is. Or the hurtbox, whichever one. I don't know. Oh, why did I just ignore that? Well, I was pumping it a little. I... Gonna die. I die. That's the wrong oh. Okay, she's too fast. Did that hit her? I don't think it did. There we go. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, I got her. Jeez. Just kick. I shouldn't try to do the other stuff at all. I'm terrible at it. Attaboy, Donovan. Concrete Cave is the name of this stage. It is kind of a gross stage. If it's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah. I guess... Oh no, we're not supposed to be in the subway. We're up above. So... I guess, is it referring to the subway underground as the cave, or just the entry as a cave, or the city as a cave? What's the deal? I keep doing it wrong. There we go. Glad she won. Well, I've got a fireball, but she's got newsy, so do the math on that one. Get her sword. Where's my sword? Oh, there it is. It's on me. Ow! Just machine gunning my body. Ew! Dang! Dang. Difficult move, of course. Why don't I do uh, uh, that's not helping. Dang it. 
<laughs> there we go. Uh, I'm I'm aggravating myself by trying to play this the power moves, which I am not good at. I was trying to do his five input uh, fly turn into a demon thing, but I still can't. Oh, I think I was... Was I starting with light and going... No, that can't be it. Why the heck is Morrigan on this stage? Wait a second. Oh, because I fought Lilith on Morrigan's usual stage. That's interesting. Why don't I do an uppercut? There we go. Not bad. Yeah. That's so good. And pretty easy to execute. Oh no, I hit buttons. Ooh. It's still going? What the heck? That was not what I wanted. Ooh. Shoot. I keep hitting getting confused. Oh, wow, that auto-corrected. That auto-corrected on her super and nailed her. That was ridiculous. I shouldn't have been doing that move in the first part. Uh, okay, I was getting uppercut happy. There, look at all that damage. That's just kids. Oh, man, I surfed right over Fireball. No, oh, why did I hit? No, oh, I'm so dumb. Can't do an uppercut without my sword, I think. Come back, come back, sword. Yeah, Donovan is a little too complicated for me. I wish I could turn off the uh, plant his sword in the ground thing. I keep doing that accidentally, and then I can't do my other moves. <laughs> no! Ew. Is he Anita's daddy? I don't want to be absorbed by him. I don't want to fight inside the big fetus chamber. So does this fetus ever get born? What's the deal with the fetus anyway? Why isn't the fetus the boss of the next game? Oh, wait, there wasn't really a next game, was there? Uh, I guess I answered my own question. Jeez, what the heck? Okay, this is a problem. Okay, I don't know what to do. Jeez. Well, it's funny, on this difficulty at least, I don't usually have a trouble against Jetta. But I'm running right into that throw every time, which is nuts, because it's like a... I don't understand how that works. Oh wow, I surfed out of his... EX grab, which is good, because... Oh, wrong! I keep hitting kicks when I mean to do... It's because I'm getting obsessed with kick buttons. Oh, good job, sword. Oops. Uh, I was trying to mash out an uppercut because I can't seem to execute uppercuts. time after the, the start was worst. Got a little better after that. I was just getting hit by everything. Er. 
for a good while there. I don't really understand how he kept doing that stupid purple bubble thing on me when I was jumping in on him. I... Okay, I'm getting hit by everything again. Can't get the uppercut off. I guess I should do the faster version, huh? Oh, still not fast enough. Oh, he's hitting all the buttons. This is bad. I'm getting worse. Cut not not helping me out if I spam it. Good. Oh. Jeez. So that was worse. I should just not... I should just concentrate on kicking him. I'm not good enough to... to have all these moves sorted out. All these special moves. I really want to do the, uh, the five input thing. It doesn't... Uh, I should be able to do it. Mark. You tell him an eater. Oh, that's a big boom. Ew, I hate this one. Pop. Ah, that purple bubble. Ah, sword, get out of the ground. Oh, his heavy air punch, he uh, whips his necklace off. And hits him with it. That's awesome, actually. Ooh, watch it. Oh, the fetus is freaking out. So I guess the fetus might die here. I don't know. Okay, what's going to happen to Anita? Direct blade, okay. Whoa, cool effect. Uh oh. That was kind of heavier and more convoluted than some of the other story endings. Uh, I'm not sure I quite understand their relationship, but okay. This is such good music. So, <clears throat> what I realized right at the end there was, A, his, his jumping heavy punch is, is good. And then I kind of, in the, the second round or whatever you would call it, I was not hitting it for some reason. So that was not too bright, but I got him anyway. Uh, 
yeah, I was really just mixing up punches and kicks, doing still doing a few too many EX uppercuts, but he was flying around a lot, so they they got him a couple times. I uh, that was pretty scrubby. There was too many too many moves to, to for me to get down in, in a single session, I guess. But he's definitely kind of cool. I I do. I'm Pokemon. I do get a Hyper Shin Chan. Yeah, I do. Uh, I do get screwed up when I accidentally do the plant his sword in the ground move because then you can't do a lot of your other moves that involve the sword. Uh, so you have to recall the sword, and I have to remember which move does that because I never did it on purpose. So I wasn't paying attention to which move planted in this because it's the same move that plants it in the ground. It's like quarter circle back plus kick or whatever and then you do it again to recall the sword but I I don't do quarter circle back on purpose I I, I think I'm probably I don't know what I'm doing it's just, <laughs> it was a mess oh well he's uh he's he's a cool character he's a little more complicated than I can handle uh right off the bat I do like his dive kick a lot, the surfing on his sword thing. It's pretty good. So yeah, if a character has a good jump kick, then uh, that can that can get me uh, to stick with him for a while. S Hamma, Hyper Mickey. Oh my gosh. And it's me. I wouldn't say I'm a master of anybody, especially not Donovan. Man, Senko, what a nightmare. Want to see something? Come on. Okay, give me my three kick vampire Donovan. That's good. And, uh, yeah, whatever. So first of all, so why? Uh, I was probably rushing it or just hitting the wrong buttons. I mean, yeah, in the heat of the fight, I changed my input speeds and. Why didn't that work? That should have... Oh no, because I hit the button. Oh, I see what I'm doing. Okay, so wait. Yeah, I can do it real fast if I remember to... Uh, hit the kick buttons in the opposite order. So I'm basically hitting... Using two fingers to hit the medium and light buttons in rapid succession, just... Plinking. I don't know. That's not actually what plinking is. Whatever. Anyway, I can't do that in an actual match, so it doesn't matter. So I wanted to see if I plant my stupid... Oh, I see. You plant... It's, what button you pick depends... Uh, changes where the sword pops up. Duh. So if you do light, it goes over there. Okay. If you do... Medium, it goes middle of the screen? No, it just goes where you were. Yeah, okay, I get it. If you do 
Maybe it goes on the other side of this green. But so if I if I plant it, then I can't Yeah, then you can't do Oh. It changes his moves. So he doesn't have a forward punch uppercut with the flame sword move. But he does have he has a different backwards punch uppercut. Instead of the stabbing swords, it's a lightning strike. And it looks like it just auto aims. Or is it just going where the oh it's just going where the sword is, isn't it? Oh so Yeah, oh wow. So if the care if the opponent was stupid enough to camp out on the other side of the screen, you could do a uh, quarter circle back kick to put the sword on them, then just do backwards uppercut heavy punch and just electrocute them because they're standing by the sword like chumps. But yeah, you can't do so many normal moves when the sword is in the ground. I mean, so many... Oh, you can do that. And I kept accidentally doing quarter circle back kick to plant the sword, and then I would get confused because I, I couldn't do the moves I wanted to do. Oh, I'm such a chump. I <laughs> love when the sword gets mad at me and then falls asleep or something. Oh, you can still do that move while the sword is planted. Not that I can do it in a match. Well, uh, Donovan is a tricky rascal. What the heck was that? Uh... Oh, there it is, quarter circle four. This is so slow, though. It's... I mean, so slow to execute. That's the problem with a lot of his moves. You see, I keep wanting to do the boot, and I keep going back instead of forward. I'm so bad. I mean, that's really slow to execute. So if, if you're trying to do it to somebody in your face, chances are they're just going to hit you way before it comes out. I kept trying to do that, and that didn't usually work out too great. Yeah, his, his necklace, it's a big one. Well, so there you go. Donovan, tricky character. Oh, well, I wanted to look at... Uh, um, so, character-wise... My favorite character is Lilith. Uh, then my other favorite characters, I guess, are Morgan's. All right. Um, Felicia and Victor. I have not done playthroughs with most of the other characters, and I'm not sure I really want to. Donovan is a little too complicated for my dumb head to... Well, I guess I was going to try a playthrough with Jetta. Because he's fun in... Uh, in... Uh, is it just Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite? Which probably doesn't really have anything to do with how he plays here, but... Oh man, blood squeezes out of his shoulder thing. Ew. Sasquatch was alright, but he's no Lilith. So yeah, I guess I guess I can see myself doing trying one more character uh, with Jetta. But otherwise, I'll just be sticking to Felicia Victor. Lilith, Morgan. Maybe try Donovan again, but... Oh, I didn't check... Uh, okay, I do want to check something.
wonder what happens when Donovan meets Dimitri. Oh, they both have their little kid assistants. Oh, that's so cute. Maybe they'll play together. Um, so if I do my sword planty thing, now what does he... Oh, so yeah, now he doesn't have... Oh, now he's just punching. He's just doing his light punch with his jump kick buttons. Oh, man. Yeah, I definitely don't like planting the sword. This game has uh, like a EX version of Donovan. Check game facts real quick. Oh no. Okay, can't spell on my phone. Because if he, there's there's a version of Donovan without that plant your sword in the ground move, that would be nice. I, I, mean, I don't. I have no real reason to hope for that. I suppose. can play as Vampire Hunter to Donovan. Okay. How do I play as Vampire Hunter to Donovan? Hold select while choosing Donovan. Okay. Wow, I'm kind of amazed I sort of remembered this. Hold select. Oh, there's no visual change when I'm hitting select. Try the three kicks. Still got that move. So far, it's exactly the same. I may not have gotten the right input. Or they're actually just very similar. And Plays Vampire Hunter 2 Donovan. Hold select. This is on GameFAQ's cheats page. This is for the PS1 version. Hold select while choosing Donovan from the character select screen. I'll try it with the... So let's just quit out. Do it fresh. Okay, I'm going to try it with just a normal button input for colors. Do light punch. Holding select. Hitting light punch. Letting go of select. I'm, I was basically hoping he would have one that doesn't plant the sword in the ground all the ding dong time because I'm a clumsy. 
Oh, well, Anita is standing by him now. So that's different, right? That stuff is the same. It seems so different when I don't have his red sword, but that stuff all seems to be more or less the same. Did that do 36 before or 35? Um... still happens. Well, if this is Darkstalkers 2 Donovan, he is extremely similar to Darkstalkers 3 Donovan. It's, uh... Hold select. Maybe Anita's just scared of Lilith or of uh, Morgan, but I don't think she was when I fought Morgan. <laughs> Yeah, so now that I did not hold select, Anita is over there. Let me just try select just with, uh, against Dimitri, just to be sure. So far, that's that and maybe a, a point of difference on his demon transform EX move are the only differences I've been able to notice. So I'm going to hold select, hit light punch. Look at Dimitri. So they should put Anita on my side because this would be Vampire 2 Donovan. But there doesn't seem to be a huge difference. <laughs> yeah. In any case, he still he still has the sword plant in the ground move that is gonna screw me up. So I will probably not play him a ton because I'm a chump and I will keep doing that to myself. All right, well, next time I play this game, I will try Jetta. That'll be interesting. Uh, thanks for watching this Donovan session. Donovan, a little too complicated for me, I suppose. Um, we got through okay once I uncomplicated things for myself, I guess. Tomorrow... I think I'm going to be playing some King of Fighters 2000 on the old Neo Geo MVS. Always a good time. Um, then on Saturday I'll be playing Tekken 5 Dark Resurrection Ghost Battle Mode with various character or characters. That didn't make sense, but maybe you understood me. On Sunday I'll be playing... Virtue Fighter 4 Evolution in quest mode with Jackie Bryant. That is the plan. And then during the week next week, I'm thinking some things I want to play. Maybe Capcom vs. SNK 2. Capcom vs. Look at Jetta's weird grin sometimes. Capcom vs. SNK 2. Uh, what else? What else was I thinking of? Was I thinking of Marvel vs. Marvel vs. Capcom 2? I don't know. Maybe... 
Oh, probably some Tekken 4. Um, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff like that. Anywho, that's it for me for tonight. So, uh, thanks again for watching. This PS1 version of Darkstalkers is pretty cool. I'm playing this one because it doesn't play a red screen flash when someone gets KO'd. Uh, every other version I I have or I've seen does. So uh, for some reason they took that red screen flash out of this version, which I appreciate because red screen flashes can kind of mess with my eyeballs. So I like to avoid those. But fortunately, this version exists and is super good. So, hooray. Thanks, Capcom. All right. Bye-bye.